Hello friends, Ash here. Welcome back to Gen Sense. How are you? Are you ready to hear about the greatest fragrance of all freaking time? Yeah! We are talking about Blue Atlas Atlantis today. Got mine in the mail, still sealed. Have not opened this up. So yeah, we're gonna open this up. We're gonna check it out, look it over, smell it, see how it is. But I've gotten lots of emails from you guys asking me, can you review Blue Atlas Atlantis. So let's just jump into it. Guys, this will be linked in the description. Feel free to check it out down below. Also, if you shop at twistedlily.com or maxaroma.com, use the code GENTS10 for 10% off your order. And don't forget to check out my extra channel, Extra Gent Scents. Do more videos on there about lesser known fragrances or fragrances that aren't quite as popular right now, stuff like that. Blue Atlas Atlantis. Uh, what's the deal with this one? Well, uh, like I said, I got lots of emails from you guys telling me, check this out. Let me know what you think about it. I don't know if I should buy it or not. Let me know what you think. And truth be told, when these started to come in, these emails, I was like, what is Blue Atlas Atlantis? Like, I, I didn't remember what it was. <laughs> and then I searched in my, uh, my email and I actually got emails from them back in 2022 and the company had reached out to me they had offered to send me product and they wanted me to like go over the fragrance with them and, and tell them what i thought and all that stuff i'm not really a fan of ever taking product from companies i've said this a million times a store whatever sure load me down because stores only care if i say hey here's the store i got it from uh, they don't care so much what i say about the fragrance company that's a different story man so yeah i did not accept the offer i paid for this with my own money a hundred dollars uh, plus tax so it came out to close to 110 for me and it came from oregon even though it is made in nyc it took about a week to get here i think like eight days so not a big deal Shipping was free. But the reason this is requested so much, and I'm sorry I'm rambling, is because this stuff is everywhere. I don't stay up on like what Men's Journal and GQ and websites like that are saying about men's fragrances. I'm sorry, I just don't care. And when it comes to Blue Atlas Atlantis, uh, this stuff has been heralded as like the best men's fragrance release of the year, if not all freaking time. You can look this stuff up on Men's Journal, like I said, but essentially these magazine websites and their lists and Atlantis is right there, number one and like every list. But here's something a little bit iffy about that. When you look at those lists, they are done in partnership with Blue Atlas for Atlantis. So with all that out of the way, now I'm gonna open it. Uh, it goes without saying, this is not sponsored and I have never smelled this before. A little thing about uh, premium skincare for the modern man. Got a little wrapper here a little chance the wrapper okie doke so we got the box here it says blue atlas 3.4 ounce 100 mil eau de parfum atlantis up in the corner it's a nice box oh mine leaked fantastic that has leaked all over this box I don't know how well that comes across on camera here. Well, I'll get some close-ups, but it has leaked all over the uh, bottle, all down the inside of the box here, all over the inside of the opening of the box here. Uh, obviously the crimp on this bottle was not done well. Oh, shit. <laughs> the box is, the bottle is shattered. The bottle is shattered. Oh my God. The Ah, it's leaking everywhere. Ah, that is insane. The box was not damaged. Yeah, look, box is good. Don't know what happened there. I wonder if this still sprays. Let's give it a go. Let's see if we can try not to cut myself. Hey, got a few sprays there. All right, all right. I don't know why I need to spray it. Jeez. So as far as close-ups on the presentation, I will try to get some of that, but <laughs> that's just a mess. Yeah, so there it is. A little bit up close so you can see what's going on there. So I hate this video, but yeah, I, I want to point out um, magnetic cap. Everything else is just gravy, it's icing. I'm gonna go ahead and spray it on now and see how it smells. Here we go. 
There we go. I feel like it could be a little stronger, but again, to be fair, it's going up against my hands, which have the contents of the bottle on them. So, you know, it's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> um, truth be told, I thought this was gonna be pretty trash. I don't know what happened with my bottle slash box. It got spiked into the earth or something and somehow didn't damage the shipping box, but the bottle was all cracked up. I don't really get any black currants. I don't get any tartness. It's just creamy citrus, like a slight tropical feel to it. Sweet, fresh, but not like zingy fresh, not like a, an uplifting pop of freshness. So this is one of those fragrances where you smell it. It smells pleasant. It smells nice, $100. Uh, you know, that's gonna be rough for a lot of people when you consider what you can get fragrances for at discounters. Uh, of course, that's not the real world discounters. You know, when we're talking retail, although <laughs> a lot of people do think of that as just like the end all be all of pricing, you know. So let me rinse this off my hands. Let me give it a proper spray um, without it just being all over this entire area give it like a little bit of a wear and then let me wrap this video up i'll be right back <sighs> that was fun so i got everything spruced up over here washed my hands and uh, gave it another spray on let it dry down and everything the opening as i said a number of times it's fresh it's creamy sweet it smells fine it's nothing amazing it's it's okay like if i smelled this from any number of designers i'd be like okay cool like wait for this one uh, for it to hit discounters pick it up for 30 bucks you're in a good spot, that's what I would say. As it dries down, you get a, a very slight tint of like earthiness, a little touch of smoke, kind of a woody vibe. It has a, a slight tropical feel in the opening through the mid. Uh, a number of the listed notes I don't really pick up, which is fine, that happens all the time, but I was hoping maybe for a little more peach, you know, a little more apricot for that to really pop, and the orus as well. I think I would like the presentation, uh, if mine wasn't all busted up. Magnetic cap is cool touch. Uh, kind of looks like a Blue de Chanel bottle if it were painted matte black. And the box looks pretty nice too. Um, I tossed it over there out of anger, but... <laughs> I think the problem with this one for me is that it would have to be one of those fragrances like the first time I smelled Aventus years ago when I smelled it and I was just immediately like, holy crap, what is this? Like it legitimately blew my mind. And with this one, when I sprayed it on, no. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of going, you know, back and forth here because it doesn't smell bad. I mean, it's got good versatility. Uh, nothing here smells off-putting. Uh, certainly would be the type of fragrance you could wear around people and they're gonna dig it. Oh, and uh, performance off my skin, not that good, which you kind of expect for a freshie, but uh, it sits pretty close to the skin uh, for me after, you know, 45 minutes or so. Again, take that with a grain of salt. I've seen other people say that they get like eight hours, but it's not happening here. I remember years ago when Instant Crush came out uh, by Mancera and they sent like a free bottle to everybody. And so you had reviews come out from like a dozen channels over the course of two or three days. And there was backlash to that, but that seems so much more innocent. <laughs> it's like, here's a bottle. Blue Atlas Atlantis is like, yo, who, whose palms we gotta grease here? We won't be everywhere. Which I understand, you know, uh, when you launch something, you want it to be in front of people, you want it to be successful. It's this kind of like tightrope that you have to walk. So for me, uh, Atlantis, I mean, even if my bottle was not annihilated, I, I don't really care to. The magnetic cap could be stronger. All right, I'm out of here. Talked way too long. Thank you for hanging with me. Stay safe out there. I'll see you tomorrow with another freaking video. See you later.